Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames. We have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk. We have a Visconti Opera Master Savannah. We have a Visconti Leonardo da Vinci Machina. We have a Visconti Belgica. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. A Visconti Opera Master Antarctica. We have a Tuiko Seishu Dragon in red. We have a Tatcha Miyabi Winter's Breath and a Tatcha Miyabi Empress Winter's Breath. So I think let's go through these in a little bit more detail. So this uh, long sold out. Um, You'll see here on the uh, uh, finial here, it's uh, 26 of 28. Uh, there were only 28 of these made in each trim color. There were four trims. There was a yellow gold, which was sunrise, which is what this one is. There was a uh, midday, which was ruthenium or silver um, coated trim. There was the sunset, which was the the uh, rose gold and then there was the ruthenium black trim for midnight uh, i uh, only picked up one i nearly picked up two or three of these though because i like these so much um but in the end i only picked up one i didn't buy the others uh, before they'd sold out so 28 in each uh, beautiful material made from the same material as the london fog uh, cap and i've got london fog here as well so you can kind of see the same grey and blues there that that are in in that material. So um, a really nice uh, material, resin material. Um, it's a Visconti Opera Master, so uh, it does have a power vac, a double reservoir, um, and also it has a. Uh, these are the older twenty three cap palladium nibs um, with the screw threads. Uh, so two and a half milliliters of ink. You can post the cap as well. Uh, these are really, really nice pens. Um, and just, I hadn't actually noticed this before, but the, the the colors around here, the white actually do change color a little bit. There you go. Look at that. That really does change, almost change to a blue. Uh, quite some chatoyance going on there. Um I do like this pen a lot. Um, it, it will obviously, it, it is uh, a good size in my hand, so I don't need to post my caps uh, as I have mentioned many times before on these videos, uh, but a lot of people do. Um, you do have to be careful with this because it, the, the back end here is metal and then metal on there as well. You, you're kind of putting all that weight over this uh, power vac knob and it just adds, it doubles the weight. So it does pull back a little bit uh, if you were going to post those caps. So just something to bear in mind with if you are a cap poster, you have to post your caps. It's going to be back weighted. All uh, Visconti Opera Masters will be. Uh, the next pen inked up is this one. It's a Visconti Luxor Obelisk. Uh, a beautiful pen um, made of uh, ebonite. And then uh, Machiade, uh, and then uh, Yurushi over the top. Beautiful pen. I really do like this. Uh, I think it's called, so it's called the Luxor, or the Luxor Obelisk, or the Luxor 88, because there were 88 made of these. Uh, beautiful, beautiful um, pen. Uh, I really do love this pen a lot. Uh, it's a power vac, it's a double reservoir. Uh, and you've got a uh, Visconti 23 cap palladium nib there on this one. Uh, you cannot post the cap though. It's not designed to do so. I'm quite happy about that because uh, it is a Yurushi finish. And although Yurushi is hard, I still think you're going to get some kind of micro scratches over time. So for me, I I'm perfectly happy with not being able to post uh, that cap uh, on the pen. Beautiful pen, though. I do like it a lot. Uh, this is a newer Visconti Opera Master I added. Uh, I want to say this year, I think it was 22, actually, I added this towards the end of 22. 
This is the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. 888 of these made. Uh, 277 this one is. Uh, beautiful. Reminds me of the African continent more. Uh, it, it is called the Savannah, though. Um, beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, I, I fell in love with this when I saw it. Uh, and uh, I already had worked out what ink I was going to put in it. And really, I, I do like that ink uh, combination. Um, so this has a Visconti newer 18 count gold nib. It's a uh, This is a broad nib, actually. Um, and I'm just... Uh, it, it's... A lot of time I think it's more of a medium, but it def I think it definitely is more of a board. Um, so sometimes I will say a medium. Uh, you can post uh, the caps on this. Uh, it really uh, works quite nicely. And uh, that that is a nice nice pen. Um, but I, I do like that. I do like inking that up. I do like... I've got like a... I think it's Lamy Mango in there at the moment. And... It, it, I could have gone with a brighter yellow. I didn't want a brighter yellow because it was going to be just not legible, um, whereas the mango color is. The next pen inked up, uh, I had this inked up last week. Uh, again, this is the Visconti uh, Leonardo, and you'll see it here, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, and this is the Machina. And, and uh, this is a Scrimshaw pen. Beautiful laser etched, and when I say laser etched, look at the the fineness of that writing there. And then they colour it in with this like red colour, uh, just to make it stand out more. Uh, the clip is a little bit of a of a strange looking clip, um, but it, it's really uh, to to try and sort of ornate some of uh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, drawings and that. So. I think it's fine to have that clip on there. Um, you can post the cap as well on this one. Uh, it is a Pavac uh, knob, a uh, Pavac filling pen. It's not a double reservoir, so it only holds one and a half milliliters versus two and a half milliliters with a double reservoir. Uh, it's got the newer 18 count gold nib there from Visconti. It's a medium nib. Um, it's got the hook safe lock mechanism. Uh, the, the brown that you see on here is actually what they call acro silk that was actually in the original Visconti Medici uh, pens, which, which I also have. I had two, sold one, um, and uh, they are a nice, uh, they quit acro silk. It's, it's a mix of silk with resin or acrylic, hence the name acro and silk, um, silk fibers. Uh, very nice uh, color chatoyance that, that you can get out of that. The next pen inked up is the Visconti Belgica. And as I mentioned, I think last week that this was a pen that I got for a really good price. And uh, it, just in awe, I, I started um, getting Visconti overlays and I liked them. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't necessarily a fan of gold pens at the time. Uh, but these overlays, I think, actually really look nice. And honestly, I'd like to see more overlays like this in pens. Uh, having a black pen underneath with the gold as an overlay, I really do think that this looks nice. Uh, you can see there it's uh, got the lion there, crest. Uh, and it just, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen uh, made for Belgium. Uh, only 175 made. This is number 25. Um, I really, really do like this uh, pen a lot. It is a power vac. It's a double reservoir. Uh, I've got the uh, older 18 count not cold, 18 count gold nib there. Uh, it's a broad nib. Uh, you can post the cap on this, although a bit back weighted. Um, but it's a, a really nice uh, pen. Um, it's not a pen that I've written with a lot in the last year maybe even in the last two years. And I, I really need to just start getting around to reusing some of my old pens. So I am getting them out on these currently ink and I am starting to write with them a little bit more, write with a little bit more in letters and things like that or in, in journals. Uh, so, um, uh, but I do find though that typically I prefer a fine or a medium if I'm writing in a journal and a fine to a medium if I'm writing a letter, sometimes a broad because I'm normally writing on A4 paper. The next pen inked up is uh, the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. And I had never knew this existed until 
I saw it on eBay and I pounced on it and I just had to get it. Beautiful, beautiful, smoky resin. Uh, just reminds me of, I've said this before, but it reminds me of the like the days back in the 1980s when you would go into a pub and it was just a wall of smoke and you would see the lights coming through, but you would see the sort of smoke or smokiness there. And, and that's what this pen reminds me of. And, and I'm not a smoker. Um, I never have been. But I don't know. It's just the material just spoke to me. Uh, only 60 of these ever made. Uh, this was number three. So Paravac is a double reservoir. The older ones have uh, the screw mechanism on the Optimasters. Uh, and it's a 23 cap palladium fine nib there. Uh, and again, the Optimasters you can post as well. So, so these do work out quite nicely. Um, I do like that pen. It's got a fine nib on it. Interestingly, I wasn't that into fine nibs when, when I got that pen. And I, I think I swapped it out for a medium. And then the medium was a little bit... I, I found that the medium spare nib that I had was a little bit more uh, firmer because uh, it was a 23 cap palladium nib than the fine. And I went back and put the fine in one day, uh, and then I really liked writing with that fine nib. Uh, I think I did tune that nib slightly with a little bit of micro mesh, but it didn't need much, uh, and and it just wrote so much better. So uh, I think that's where I I now will like if if I if I get a nib out of the box that doesn't write as nice as I would like it to write, then I will tune that nib. Uh, I will tune it to how I like to write with that nib. And and most of the time it's not overly smooth, but it's just a little bit smooth or maybe a little bit smooth with a little bit of pencil feedback. But it does have to write wet. And the, the wetness of the nib will mask any uh, pencil-like feedback or scratchiness and just make it write, feel like it's writing a little bit smoother, even though maybe it's not because it's got more ink flow. The next pen here is uh, the Visconti Opera Master Antarctica. I got this at the same time uh, as I got the Savannah. Um, there were two separate auctions, and I won both of them. And this was the one first that I wanted, and then a day later the Savannah came, and I got the Savannah. But this was the one I really, really wanted. Uh, 888, uh, this is number 37, a beautiful blue and white ribbon there really does remind me of either the Antarctica or sort of uh, luscious blue oceans uh, in the Caribbean, maybe. Um, although there is a Polynesia for that, which is a little bit more greener. Um, but this is a beautiful pen. So it is a Pavac filling pen um, and uh, it does have the uh, hook safe lock mechanism. It is a double reservoir. And uh, it's also got the newer 18 cat gold. It's a medium nib there. Um, you can post the cap if you want to as well. But like I said, the the um, caps on uh, the um, Opera Masters are quite heavy. So you do need to be mindful of that if you're going to post those caps because it's going to make that pen back weighted. Another pen that I picked up uh, in March 23 was uh, one of two pens, and these were the Dragon pens. And this is the Tweeko Seishu uh, Dragon pen in red. I got one in green as well. Uh, Tweeko is Twiss uh, and um, uh, Vince Coates. So John Twiss, who's a custom pen maker, Vince Coates, who runs the Northumbrian Pen Company, the Turner's Workshop, uh, and they all, the two, they are two out of three people that run now the UK pen shows. So you put the two names together, Twist and Coates. So it's Tweeko, essentially. Seishu is the artisan who uh, made or, or did all of this Mackie work. Beautiful Mackie work. I really do like it. Uh, I love the Red Dragon. I think I like the Green Dragon a little bit more. Uh, but you get this lovely red fireball there. Uh, and also some wind or smoke. Uh, you've got abalone shell in the eyes there. Beautiful Mackie pen. Uh, so glad that I was able to pick this up. 
comes with a Yovo 14 cat gold medium nib. Um, you can't post the caps. It's not designed to do so. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Macchie pens, Yurushi pens, I do not like posting because or you can feel, even though it's got Yurushi lacquer over the top, you can feel the raisedness of this Macchie. So at some point, you would scratch that. And I would hate to... It's bad enough getting micro-scratches on pens, certainly black pens, but uh, I think you would see a lot of micro-scratches on this if you were to post the cap. Uh, but you could also maybe chip off some of that beautiful artwork there. So for that uh, alone, I I'm not a fan of posting caps, certainly on Macchie or Yurushi pens. The next pen uh, was a birthday pen I bought uh, a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, this is a Tatcha Miami Winter's Breath and absolutely stunning. It's crushed quail's eggs are then glued back onto the pen in this formation with uh, strips of abalone shell that has been cut out and then again glued onto the pen and then Yurushi lacquered. Stunning work of art and honestly I would love to meet the artisan or artisans that did this for the pen. Um, it has a number six size tatcher nib and it is an 18 count gold uh, broad nib on this one um you can post the cap on this so again i'm not a fan of doing that um because i can feel a lot of uh some of the the uh, abalone shell here and uh i think there is some areas where let me see if i put that cap on I'm trying to see if i can find it um there are some trying to see it off camera there are some areas here uh where there that is slightly prominent so you do get to to feel uh the abalone shell and and a little bit the eggshells as well so um it again it's it's a pen that i wouldn't want to post because of that uh, i would be worried about maybe some of the because these shells are so delicate so small I would be worried about maybe one of those, just one or two of those chipping off and and just ruining the look of the pen. And then the last pen uh, here is looks similar, but it's uh, it's you could say it's a sibling. I think it's an older sibling or a larger sibling. Uh, it's attached to Miami Empress Winter's Breath, and uh, you get this lovely black enameled clip with the. Uh, the, the same uh, crushed quail's eggs on there. Uh, absolutely stunning. But again, the crushed quail's eggs all the way around the body with the abalone strips here. And again, I I can feel this when I run my finger over these. So even though there's probably one, two, maybe three layers of Yurushi lacquer over the top of that, I would just be a little bit hesitant on posting this on a regular basis. And you can post the cap, but it's not its not going to go on deeply. Um, this is a much wider pen than this one here um, because it, it's, it accommodates a number eight size uh, tatcha nib. And these nibs are actually made by Sailor. So this is like a king of pen size nib, 18 count gold, not 21 count gold. Uh, but this is a medium nib. Um, I didn't have the option. Uh, I bought this second hand, so I didn't have the option of which nib to put in it. Uh, originally, I bought this one with... I was going to buy it with a medium nib, and then the retailer failed me, um, and then I decided to go for, with it uh, from a different retailer, and I specifically asked for a broad, which I absolutely love. Um, but this one, I didn't have the option. I got a medium, and I still love it. So uh, for me, uh, I like both of those pens. Uh, and I always said I was never going to get this one, but it just came up at the right moment, at the right price, uh, and I decided I would just get it. So I did, and I added it to my collection. So that's my 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is a Visconti Opera Master River Thames, and... Uh, I have typically uh, inked this up with a blue ink. Uh, more lately, I've actually gone with a grey ink because really, 
I can't remember who it was, but somebody on one of the videos actually said, I honestly think you should ink this up with a grey ink. I think somebody, it may have even been the same person, actually said the same thing about the Homo sapiens London Fog. I, I can't remember. Obviously, there's way too many comments in that. But this is the uh, Visconti Opera Master River Thames. And this is uh, a 1.3 millimeter, uh, 23 cap palladium stub nib. And then the ink in here is diamine Earl Grey. And uh, I do find it is hard or harder to write uh, either in a seven millimeter or in this case, a five millimeter line ruling. However, uh, I did actually uh, write a couple of letters uh, in the last week uh, on 7mm and I think I surprised myself because I actually found out that I could do it. Uh, and uh, it's easy to do it in, in uppercase here, not so easy to do it in lowercase uh, because you're trying to, to get the letters, the lowercase letters, half the height of that. So you would be talking 2.5mm. But for me, I actually found it worked and uh, I think I'm going to really try and write more with my stub nibs now the next pen inked up is the visconti luxor obelisk so we'll do an ink swatch here and this is uh, quite a nice uh, color ink uh, I have to say and i'm just double checking yeah it is the right one so this is the Visconti, sometimes you forget which ink is in a pen. Uh, Luxor, Obelisk. And it's a medium and it's a 23 cap palladium nib. And then the ink in here um, is quite simply Visconti Blue. Um, I thought it might have been KWZ Hawaii Blue, um, but I just double checked and no, it was definitely... Uh, Visconti Blue. The next pen inked up is the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. Now this is uh, a nice broad nib and I do like this. So it's the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. In a broad, uh, it's an 18 cat newer gold nib from Visconti. And then the ink in here is Lamy Mango. And I, I was a little bit disappointed when I saw this pen up on auction that it was a broad nib. Uh, but then I thought, well, you know what, actually, that color is a nice color. And you're going to need a broader nib to actually put a lighter ink in there. So I was actually quite glad in the end that it was a broad nib. The next pen ink type is a Visconti Leonardo da Vinci Machina. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I've said before that this, uh, it's a fine, well, it's a medium nib, but it writes more like a fine nib. But uh, it's still fairly wet though. It's the Visconti uh, Leonardo Da Vinci Machina. This comes with a massive box. Uh, it is a medium. It's a newer 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. Uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Diamine Ochre. And I will alternate sometimes between Diamine Ochre and Akiman SBRE Brown. Both very good inks for that pen. Both flow very nicely. So for me, uh, that is one that I will actually, so between those two inks, I will use dedicated in that pen. The next pen inked up is a Visconti Belgica. So this, uh, we'll do an ink swatch here. This is a broad nib, but I always feel it's more like a double broad. So this is a uh, Visconti. Belgica 
And I'm actually trying to think. I'm just looking at this. It definitely is a B for board there. I have another one that's got a double B on it. Ah, I think it might be my May Deet sheet. I swapped the nibs out on at one point. Uh, but I have got a double board, uh, which is even broader. So this is Visconti Belgica in a broad. Uh, and it's the older 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. And the ink in here is uh, KWZ. Hawaii blue, um, but that is uh, a nice, nice blue ink. Um, still think that that ink should be a little bit more turquoisey, uh, but then again, I've never been to Hawaii, so maybe that is a perfect look for Hawaii. But from what I've seen on television, maybe it should be a little bit more of a lighter color. I would say. The next pen ink top is the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is a beautiful writing nib. Um, it is a fine nib though. So uh, it's the Visconti Opera Master. golden dust and it's a fine uh, and it's the uh, 23 cap palladium nib and then the ink in here is also diamine ochre which uh, I have a lot of bottles of now um, I realize and, and I do this a lot unfortunately that that when I I like uh, an ink I like a color. I like how it flows. I will actually buy many, many, many more bottles of that ink. So for this one, I have bought a lot of bottles. Uh, but uh, for me, I it's, it's an ink that I like. So why not? The next pen inked up is the Visconti Opera Master Antarctica. So we'll do... Uh, an ink swatch on this and this is uh, again a lovely writing nib and I know a lot of people previously have complained about Visconti 23 cat palladium nibs and then more so recently the newer 18 cat gold nibs but I, I, I like both to be honest uh, this is the Visconti Opera Master uh, Antarctica uh, and uh, this is a medium and it is the newer 18 cat uh, gold in-house Visconti nibs uh, and then the ink in here is Visconti turquoise and I do think that the Hawaii blue needs to be a tad lighter to look a little bit like Visconti turquoise but that's just, I, I guess that's just my preference more uh, on on uh, ink colours. But I, I just think it needs to be a little bit more lighter blue or lighter turquoise. The next pen inked up is the Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And this is a beautiful uh, writing nib as well. Uh, I a lot of my nibs write really well. I know some of you ask me how am I that lucky with Visconti nibs or how am I that lucky with any nibs. I'm not normally a lucky person. Uh, if someone's going to be unlucky, it's going to be me. But nib wise for me, I, I've just had pretty good luck. And if I don't, then I can smooth the nib out or make it write wetter uh, with some brushums between the tines of the nib. So this is the uh, Tweeko Seishu uh, Dragon in red. And it's a medium and it's a 14 count gold uh, Yovo nib. Uh, and then the ink in here is KWZ Thief Spread, which uh, is a beautiful, beautiful red. Sometimes I also think they should call it Dragon Red, perhaps, <laughs> because... I'm putting it in a dragon pen, and, and I think that would uh, certainly match up to the pen a lot more uh, 
uh, for me. Uh, but there you go. It's a uh, it's a nice red anyway. The next pen is Attacha Miami Winter's Breath. And I think I need to re-ink this, actually, because I think it's getting low on ink. Um, I think the next one is as well. So it's always a question for me. Do I re-ink the pen and continue writing with it? Or do I clean it out, put it back into my pen tray, and choose a different pen? It's a difficult, difficult decision. So this is the Tatcha My Abbey. Uh, winter's breath uh, and it's a broad and it's an 18 count gold uh, nib uh, made by sailor for tatcher uh, it's a number six size nib uh, and then the ink in here is a uh, pelican edel sign topaz but uh, a beautiful blue color. I, I like it a lot, and I like that broad nib a lot as well. And then the last pen is Attacha Miami Empress Winter's Breath, and I think this one actually may be a little bit more lower on ink than uh, the other one uh, was. But we'll see how we go. Uh, no, my luck, I'll probably run out of ink. Uh, I normally do if it's low, but... Uh, might have to then dip it or re-ink it. Let's see. So this is the uh, Tatcha My Abbey uh, Empress Empress uh, Winter's Breath and uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 count gold nib but it is a king of Pen nib made by Sailor. Uh, and then the ink in here is a Diamine Ultra Green, which has become a little bit of a, a favorite green of mine more recently. So uh, that is inked up uh, in that pen this week. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames in a 1.3 millimeter 23 cap palladium stub nib inked up with diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Visconti Blue. We have a Visconti Opera Master Savannah in a broad 18 cap gold nib inked up with Lamy Mango. We have a Visconti Leonardo da Vinci Machina in a medium 18 cap gold nib inked up with diamine ochre. We have a Visconti Belgica in a broad 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Hawaii Blue. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 count palladium nib inked up with diamine ochre. We have a Visconti Opera Master Antarctica in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Visconti Turquoise. We have a Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Thief's Red. We have a Tatcha Miami Winter's Breath in a broad 18 count gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelsign Topaz. And then we have a Tatcha Miami Empress Winter's Breath in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Ultra Green. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.